paper. Good morning. Today I want to discuss the Amanda Knox case. I want to know what you think about the outcome and um, if the Italian system got it wrong or right. I do know one thing, a lot of you have asked me my thoughts and opinions on this and unfortunately I read a book that really skewed me against Amanda Knox and um, whether it's right or wrong, I just I have to voice it. There was just a lot of circumstantial evidence. Uh, you know, they never shut their phones off ever, but the night of the murder, both their phones were off. They were seen the next morning uh, in a store buying cleaning products. So although there was no hardcore DNA evidence, there was a lot of circumstantial evidence, but I, I think the Italian system really did get it right. Uh, there was no DNA, and what ended up being what they thought was DNA on that night ended up being rye bread. So I really feel that they got it right uh, this time. Whether she's innocent or guilty, she will have to live with this for the rest of her life, and that whole shadow of darkness will, will, will exist over her because it's kind of similar to the Casey Anthony case that when she gets home, I, I imagine it'll be difficult for her. But I wish her well, and um, I really just want to know what, what your thoughts are. I'm sort of on the fence about the whole thing, hence women on the fence. But uh, I want to know what you think. Is it fair? Do you think she did it? Uh, did the Italian system get it right? She's walking free. I just, I, you know, if she's innocent, she's lost four years of her life. That is such a travesty and really awful. Um, you don't get those years back. A very, very traumatic. So I want to know what your thoughts are. Let me know. Leave a comment right below. Thanks.